strange RV tours will take you places With Greg and Janet's smiling faces You might see a crazy flavored soda review Or some tips to fix your RV too So come along, won't you join us, friend As we discover what's around the bend Just sit right back in your easy chair Strange RV Tours is on the air Hey folks, it's Greg and Janet. Today we're at 3780 East Kellogg Road in Pahrump, Nevada. And we are here because of wine. Mm -hmm. This is the Sanders Family Winery. And Pahrump has kind of become known for wineries. I think they've got three of them now, don't they? I think so. I think they have three wineries now. So we're going to do a wine tasting and see if they have good wine. Let's yeah. check it out. This is the outside of the winery here. Right, whoops, right over here, if you can see, this is some of their grow fields, I guess you call them, or orchards. Orchard? Winery orchards. Vines. <laughs> Vines, yes. Beautiful building. That beautiful building. And we know absolutely nothing about their wines, so this is going to be a real adventure. Yeah. All right, guys. We're inside. We just got seated. And they said we could take our mask off when we got seated. So that's wonderful. Now, we do not make champagne here. Okay. But because we do so many concerts and weddings, we have to have it on hand. So this you can't buy in a store anyway. So wow. it's called, it's uh, uh, Wyclef, oh, and it's an off it's an off brand brute, but uh, mm -hmm. we use it because it's a favorite of our people here. So beautiful. Yeah. So this is, this cleanses your palate. Wonderful. Anything that you don't particularly care for, that's what that dump bucket's for. Okay. okay. There you Thank go. You. Thank you. The fact that I'm the winemaker on just about everything else that's here made here. I don't want to see out of the corner of my eye you taking these precious products that I have nurtured <laughs> in the past 30 some years and I, I think it's not going to hurt my feelings. I just wanted to bring that up. Okay. Now, that being said, I hope you're feeling guilt if you do that. <laughs> that being said, I just want you to know I was brought up Catholic. Damn it, if I get guilt, you're getting guilt. <laughs> there you go. So here we go. Cheers. All right, we're going to try the. White, white lip champagne? Yeah. It's not bad. I like it. I Me like too. it. Very bubbly. Very light. But it's not overly fruity. Mm -hmm. Some wines or some champagnes tend to be real fruity. Yeah. And the bitter this is after. Nice. It doesn't have that bitter aftertaste. I get a taste of apricot. Mm hmm. That's nice. Etched in here, Sanders Winery. Well, anyway, we got seated in this section out here. We're all by ourselves. We're the only ones in here. You kind of hear echoing. It's a large hall here. I guess they'll do weddings and such here, maybe. Not so dressed up today, but I'm sure they do nice tablecloths and linens for weddings and stuff. But uh, that was Jack Sanders you just heard. He uh, founded the wineries here, the first winery in 1988. And actually it was up there off of 160. And that's Pahrump Valley Winery now. And he did sell that in 2005. And he had this also. So he had both, he sold the other. And it's since then been sold again. But he did have some vineyards up there. Now he's moved down here on Kellogg Road. And he's right next to some pistachio uh, orchards and they do make their own wines you know which is not always what people do uh, Park Valley Winery they actually bring in grapes from California and other areas he actually has his own and he has Zinfandel grapes and the Petit Girard grapes and 
seems like he's been doing this, for, like he said, 35 years. So he knows his stuff. And I can't wait to try it. Pretty cool. Oh, wow. Okay, so okay. pops and pears, jasmine and apricot. Wow. Okay, next up on our list here is Serenity, 12.5% alcohol. Sanders special blend of dry white wine with aromas of apples and pears, flavors of sweet jasmine and a hint of apricot. Perfect wine with cheese, fruit. This uh, is a great social wine to have with someone you really care about. There we go. Let's get this baby up. Let's I'll try it here. Yeah. Smells good. And it's like almost totally clear. It's got a I, tint of color. I do smell apples and pears in it. I must smell apricot. I said apricot, right? Apples and pears. Okay, Jasmine, hint of apricot. This is Serenity. Serenity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A hint of apricot. Oh, I got you. Okay, good job. Nice. That is. That's good drinking wine there. It doesn't even taste like a wine. Right. It doesn't have the acidic aftertaste of, of most mm. wines. It's very clean, very, very crisp. Nice. Very nice. I'm going to show you guys our uh, tasting sequence for today. We started with the champagne, which was not theirs. Mm -hmm. The Chardonnay and then the Serenity. We tried both those. I like the Serenity so better than the Chardonnay. Here, 50% Pinot Noir grapes, Arras and strawberry rhubarb and fun. Thank you. This is Harmony. It's 12% alcohol. Um, this is uh, this Ultra Rose Rose style wine, light rose color with aroma and strawberries of strawberries rhubarb and plum flavor is reminiscent of strawberry citrus and melon fantastic fantastic with lamb wild game and perfect for a hot tub pool or patio wine so this ought to be ours right here yeah it goes with the hot tubs <laughs> yep see it is a light peak that yeah, is like peak. Is. yeah mm. I, do smell. Mm. I do smell cloves do you? Smell a little bit of cloves, yeah. And uh cloves? Yeah. It smells good though. It's so a wild game, so you go with your venison or quail. That's mm -hmm. delicious. This is my favorite one so far. Wow. Strawberries big time. Yeah, you can taste the strawberries, it's really good. This is a mix of that's their Zinfandel. You know what I'm liking about their wines is they don't have that acidic aftertaste so far, yeah. which makes it hard for me to drink. Yeah. These these are drinking wines. This is the, this is the goods right here. This is delicious. It is almond bark. No, no, no. dark chocolate almond bark. Awesome. It's good with the Merlot and Cabernet that you've already. We're gonna taste the Merlot now, and then the Cabernet will be after this. Great. Look at, look at the color on that. It's gorgeous. Mmm. Look at it. Wow. This, yeah. this is their Merlot. 12.7% alcohol. Rich red wine with light, with lightly toasted oak barrels. Smooth tannins with overtones of cloves and spice. Slight oak aromas. Goes well with beef, pork, and ribs. Like, so, let me try this. Oh, that's good. That's got a full body to it. Yeah, you got the tannins. Mmm. Yeah. You get the. You can feel the tannins at the back of your tongue. Mm hmm. The clove and the spice. Just describe it perfectly. Mm. That's really good. Let me try that. I have a new favorite. <laughs> really? Their Merlot is now my favorite of their wines. Really? You like it that much? I like it a lot. No, it's good. That, imagine having that with a steak. 
Mm-hmm. One twig of oak has come anywhere near it. Mm. So it's you're going to get taste what a Cabernet grape really tastes like without the uh, infusion of charcoal from the toasted barrel or the oak or the vanillins that uh, are expounded oh, yeah. into the wine. Uh, we're finding that people are looking for more simplicity, so we're, we aim in that direction. That's nice. Great. Uh, plus, our wines are perfectly balanced. Uh, so this is our Cabernet. Cabernet Sauvignon, 13.1% alcohol. Not one twig of oak comes near this beautiful handcrafted masterpiece. Mm. Big aromas of black cherry, blackberry, and strong finish of cayenne pepper. Very refined tannins by itself or with prime rib, and don't forget the dark chocolate. Here nice, we go. nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Most wines, I don't know why, but after I swallow them, I get a burning sensation in my throat. I'm not getting that with these. I'm not getting that with these wines. A, a touch of cayenne at the end. Do you get that? A little spice? Corn? Yeah. You do a little it bit. It does huh? seem to warm, you know, seem warm at the end, yes. They said, don't forget the chocolate. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind the prime rib. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That'd be delicious with this. Mm -hmm. So this is the next wine you're going to taste. It's called our American Burgundy. Uh, this is a red wine I designed 28 years ago for people who don't like red wines, which is the majority of people, by the way. So it's only really somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, just slightly off dry. Okay. So yeah. fruit forward is the word, is the term we use. It, it is. So you're going to get a little, you're still going to get a balance in it. And even red wine drinkers like this, so. Oh, goodness. Isn't that lovely? That's awesome. Yeah. I was just going to say your Cabernet was fantastic. I actually like this better. Yeah. So it's fine tannins and, and it has that little bitterness and that sharpness on the other side. That's, that's wonderful. Okay, the Burgundy that we just tried. American Burgundy. Yes, it says it is a red wine for those who don't like red wine. 12 and a half and half percent alcohol. Wow, you asked for an easy to handle. Red wine, you got it. This is a five grape proprietary blend producing delicate but complex flavors best served cold to bring out the perfect balance fl flavors. And it was delicious. Yes. Sparkling rose. That bubbles good. Yeah. And that's a white cliff? White cliff, yeah, we yeah. don't like that here. Yeah. Sparkling rose. Cheers. All right. It's pretty. Our next wine is the sparkling rose, which they do not make here. It says, it can't get more romantic than this. 10.5% alcohol, delightful Charme method, pink sparkling wine. A private toast to love and affection. All right, let's try this and see if love I start getting romantic. And that's by White Cliff. They don't make it here, so. It almost reminds me of a champagne. Yes. But it has some. Um, More tannins. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It has a little drier. Well, champagnes are real dry, though, but I can definitely taste the tannins at the end of my, my throat. The next one that we're going to try is called a red ginger, and it's actually a recipe. Uh, try the following recipe for our most refreshing drink you've ever tasted. This will hydrate your body and mellow your mind. This is your final taste for today. Here is the recipe. Two ounces of Cabernet or Merlot, a very small wedge of fresh cut lime, ice to your desire and five ounces of ginger ale yeah there you go that sounds this wonderful is your red ginger you want to guess it it's, it's the cab it's it's good. Good. yeah mm. I, I guessed it yeah. <laughs> that's good that is right, here it is folks the red ginger 
And I have not tried mine yet, so you guys get to watch me try one here. There you go. All right. It's light. It's Where's light. It? I can definitely tell there's ginger ale in it. Mm -hmm. This is nice. Yeah. I would drink this if I wanted to sit down all day and just drink mm -hmm. wine. I would mm -hmm. do this because mm -hmm. you wouldn't get drunk over the course of an afternoon if you were drinking two ounces at a time. Right. This is awesome. I like that. That is refreshing. Nice. Hmm. I'm gonna have a tough choice. We'll have to get the burgundy. We know that's that's unique too. It is unique. I mean, these were really, really good. All of them. Uh, but that American burgundy, you're not gonna find anywhere else. Nothing like it. It is really excellent. You can show it off to your friends. Our friends over the road, we're traveling from city to city, we don't really know anybody. <laughs> All right, well you guys are just going to have to wait until uh, the end of this video to see what we actually decided to go with. Yeah, we'll take a walk around. Looks like a little girl with a little brother on top of his shoulders there. Nice statue. Yeah. This is a nice place, it's been a beautiful day. All right, we were just informed this tower here in front of the winery is kind of their control room. It houses all of their inner workings, basically. There's, it's uh, their, their music, music system. Music and lighting, and but uh, they said they can have this all filled up with hundreds, a hundred some odd people. Yeah. For big name, you know. Concerts. Concerts. Yeah. And stuff. That's pretty neat. Yeah. It's a bird condo community. <laughs> middle of winter right now but these will be coming out real soon huh that's neat all right miss janet you want to unveil what we purchased yeah okay they're wrapped up that's okay we can unwrap them yeah, here. Da, 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 the all burgundy. right we could not make one choice so we went with the burgundy mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and after having the red ginger drink at the end, I was convinced and we got the Cabernet Sauvignon also, a King Cab. It's, they're both lovely. Now, we really have, haven't had any wine in a while. Actually, we did. Oh, yeah, yeah. Our neighbor gave about, us that bottle. <laughs> about three months ago, our neighbor in the RV resort where we're at, when he was leaving, his family had had produced some wine and left us a bottle. It mm -hmm. was a red wine, had no label on it, so we really don't know what type of wine it was. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming it was probably a cab. When we opened it, it looked like a cab. When we smelled it, to me, it smelled like vinegar. It was. It was bad. It was, it, they had they had produced the wine like eight years ago. Two thousand eight. It said on the cork. Okay, so twelve years ago, and it probably went bad six years ago. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it was. It didn't uh, look corked. I mean. No, it didn't look like it. But when we opened it, oh uh, my God. we had to open up the air vents in the RV because it was a strong aroma. And it, uh, it was bad. I didn't even bother trying it. There was no way. There was no way. So <laughs> anyhow, so this was much better. Yes, <laughs> so, you guys. Anyhow, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, hit the little bell up in the corner. Please mm -hmm. share these videos. Check out our Patreon site. And is there anything else you want to add, Miss Jan? Uh, you guys, if you're anywhere in Las Vegas, or this is a nice, nice resort. It, it really is. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Jack Sanders is an awesome guy, and he explained everything to us, and, and he loves what he does. You can tell, and it's, you can tell in his wines, too. Yes. It's wonderful. And I personally would like to thank Jack for allowing us to film inside. Mm. Um, 
man, their wines are really good. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, like I said, I'm not a a professional wine taster, <laughs> but man, that was good. That was, was really good. So, and the wines were very inexpensive. It's like twelve dollars a bottle. Yeah, twelve to sixteen. I think their most expensive bottle of wine I saw was like sixteen dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So, All right, guys. Anyhow, you guys take it easy. We'll talk at you later. Bye-bye.